Hello to the new Railway Modelers Forum. Um, it's Brian Etta here. Uh, if you've been following my thread on the DCC forum, you'll know that I have been attempting to hack the decoder on this Class 8 chassis so that I can attach a capacitor to it to keep it running when it hits a dead spot of track. Um, photographs of this are already online. We've got two little bits of wire which have been soldered onto the negative of the bridge rectifier on the decoder board and onto the blue pad which didn't have a blue wire on it which is the positive rail and should be connected to the other side of that rectifier. Now what I'm going to do here is test these wires to see whether or not applying 15 volts DC to these wires will maintain the current speed and direction of the locomotive. The setup here is we've got um, a test track. I've got a board over here which has switches on it which you can isolate any part of the track. At the moment they're all isolated. I'm going to turn this one on in a moment. In fact, I'll do it on now. And you'll see that the decoder is receiving an instruction to move off very slowly. It's just pushing into the end of the line there, at the end of that coach, there's a buffer. And so we can admire that slow motion. If I isolate that, we have no DCC. The tracks are now dead and it's possible to short them out and no problem. These probes here, there's a red probe and down here a black one, are connected to the auxiliary output of my D Hornby Select, which should be pretty much the same as the uh, DCC signal. It should be the same voltage and all that. So I'm trusting it to be right without me having to actually connect anything to this and put a capacitor on. All I'm doing is testing the inputs. We'll continue to push the train along at the right speed. Now we'll know if we've got it right because it'll go slowly. If it goes at the full speed like that then it's running on DC mode at the full 15 volts. So what I'm going to do now is get the get the thing running and I'm going to balance, I don't have any crocodile clips so this is going to be fun, balance these probes onto the wires. I'll hold this one. Okay there we go, we are now applying the 15 volt auxiliary DC to what I believe are the two inputs on the decoder. So now I'm going to isolate this track and we'll see whether or not this stops, goes quickly and continues much as it is. It's a tiny smidge faster but basically that's it. We are now pushing the locomotive using nothing but a simple DCC on my two wires I've soldered to the decoder. The track itself is dead. It's isolated. And if I take my finger away, it stops. And that's me turning the decoder back on. It's run off onto the next isolated piece of track. No harm done. It's still running properly. If I take the track power and turn it off and on while holding these inputs on, it should do that without any uh, any running off. There we are, DC, DCC, DC, DCC. So there we go, we are now able to run this decoder when there are dead patches, as long as we can get some kind of voltage onto there. So I need to find a capacitor that will go on there and provide 15 volts roughly. Trouble is when I measure the voltage on these if it's the only locomotive on the entire layout that comes with 27 volts and that's quite a big capacitor it won't actually fit inside the shell. So what I need now is some kind of solution to um, cap the voltage at maybe something reasonable like 20 and use a smaller capacitor rated at 25 volts instead of something that's going to have to be much larger physically. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes on the thread. If you're not 
reaching this video from the New Railway Modellers forum, go to newrailwaymodellers.co.uk, follow the forums link and look for the DCC section where you'll find a thread called DCC Decoder Hacks or something like that and uh, you'll see all the still photos and be able to follow my progress. Thanks for watching.